G'day guys, this is Kao Wong and today we're in Mazuga, Morocco. As you can see in the background there, we've got the mighty Sahara Desert. We'll be heading into the desert later to meet some Berber and some nomads to try their delicious food. I can't wait to check it out. Okay, so we are in Tuareg house in Rissani mm. and we're going to eat Medfuna, Medfuna which means local bread, local bread cooked oh. under, yeah. underground. Yeah. Underground and filled with meat. Stuffed with meat. Stuffed with meat and beans. Oh, oh, no, 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 almonds. Almonds. Almonds and onion. And parsley and coriander and different spices. Yeah. Okay. Just Enjoy it. Enjoy. Yes. Okay, yeah. Oh, Really tasty. Tasty. Very tasty. No. Mm, that's like a pie. Um, that it's a very thin bread on top. Probably no yeast, just flat bread. But the filling is amazing. And the crust, also the bread, very crusty. Mmm. There are little bits of nuts in there. Dry fruits, almonds. Mmm. Which gives it a very nice texture. But this is delicious. Mm. It's good, you are eating and she's filming. Mm. <laughs> uh, and the lady eat. And the lady first eat. This is how it works in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, we are normal mo the lady eat first. No, okay. Uh, Better let the lady eat now. Yeah. As you can see, I'm in the desert. It's super hot. Um, we're right now at a Berber nomadic family home, if you can call it that. These structures behind me are actually uh, shared structures. So families will come and go. They may stay for six months, they st may stay for a year or two years, but then they'll move on. Um, so the solar panels, the structures themselves, this little thing here is a kitchen. Um, they all stay here, they're permanent, and then other Berber families will, will move in uh, when they're done. But let's go, let's go check it out. This is their little kitchen stove. I'm not sure if you can see this, but they basically have this round mound uh, and this this pan here. Uh, I got some pots. They have the fire in here, and it acts like a, a little oven as well as a as a cooktop. Um, pretty sort of basic, but I guess it it I guess it does the job. Uh, there's a little cat in here having a snooze as well. Um, yeah, but really interesting. So everything's cooked with fire, sticks and fire. Uh, some volcanic rocks here, which I guess helps uh, retain heat uh, when they're boiling stuff or, or cooking stuff. Um, you know, some scrap metal here and there. This looks like a little, uh, a little, little pizza scoop. Uh, but pretty cool. I've got another extension here. Yeah, it's just another another cooking area as well. Uh, this lady over here is weaving, as you can see. A very uh, very mobile way of uh, of weaving cloth. 
they don't they don't, they don't weave for a living, uh, so they, this might be a bit of uh, extra money on the side that they'll take down to the market and sell. Um, it's generally more goats and and livestock that they trade in, um, but this is this is the life. Um, you can see out here. There's a few more, few more of these little settlements, and they're dotted around the place. Really interesting. So it's a little neighbourhood, uh, and you know each each little house will have a a family. Uh, the men are out. There's only women and children here right now. Uh, I suspect the men are out with the livestock uh, feeding. Uh, right now, uh, it's, this is relatively green uh, part of the year. Uh, there's, <laughs> you probably can't see, but there is a bit of uh, greenery out there, which, which will feed the animals. Um, and obviously, you know, they get a little bit of income as well when tourist groups like us come here and, and, uh, and visit. Um, but there's some really cool looking urns over here as well. And a donkey, cool little donkey. So check out these, these little urns. They look like they could be from ancient Greece. They've got holes in the bottom, but I mean, how cool is that? You know, it's even got little art patterns in there. But really quite cool. So we've got we've been given some uh, some tea. Uh, Morocco is obviously uh, famous for their mint tea, uh, but this one is a little bit different. It's um it's bitter. It's much bit more bitter than the ones that we've had in the city so far, um, and I suspect that's because uh, we're in the desert and they only have dried leaves. Um, but the way they pour it is to be go very high to get those bubbles in there. Uh, we've opted to not go with the sugar because uh, it just seems to be a, a little bit of a sugar overload uh, in Morocco but they serve it hot but it's still quite refreshing similar to Chinese they like to drink hot tea which actually ends up cooling you down a little bit more as opposed to cold tea uh, or cold anything which once it gets into your body creates more heat um, they've also given us some bread here uh, I think they call this uh, Berber pizza and it kind of reminds me of Australian damper uh, it's just a, a flat bread uh, but it's, it's got some good rise in it uh, they've got some good air bubbles in there uh, and it just tastes very uh, like simple simple bread um, I guess living out here uh, calls for simple living and simple cooking and they just make do with what they have so uh, there's there's a couple of little kids here who are so happy just to just to see people and you know uh, our, our driver brought some gifts and they're ecstatic they're just dancing around and jumping around like um, like the happiest happiest little kids in the world um, they live in little structures like this this is a tent obviously uh, you know and in the heat of the night uh, they'll probably sleep outside uh, just to keep cool because it can get quite hot in the desert obviously uh, they've given us some oil as well here uh, but we've been told not to eat it uh, for whatever reason so we're, we're, we're avoiding that um, but a very unique experience um, unlike anything I've, I've ever uh, come across in my life so far so really happy to be here <laughs> Alright guys, we just got off the camel, that's Bill and Ted back there. Just walked through the desert, sand dunes, super hot, super dehydrating, but now at the luxury camp where we're gonna spend the night. So we're gonna sign off for now, but please do hit like and subscribe. You're gonna see more of these episodes. See you next time. <laughs>